Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the best logo for your business or brand in less than five minutes. So let's get started. I'm going to pop over here to the Taylor Brands platform. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my business name, which is Jamie Marks. Now I can also enter a tagline here. So a tagline can express what your business or brand does or the value it brings. So for example, I could enter Jamie Marks SEO consulting and advice, but I'm going to skip it this time. and I'm just going to click design. The next step is to enter in some information about my business. And this lets the AI algorithm in the background better understand what I do and give me a logo that's aligned with my exact business and brand. So I'm a consulting firm and I deal with SEO, marketing and social media. Once you enter in those details, press next. The next step is to pick what type of logo you want. There's three types of logo. There's an icon base, which uses an icon and your business name, a name base, which puts your name at the center of the logo design, and an initial base logo. These are perfect if your name is really long and you just want the two initials or an initial to represent what your logo is. I'm gonna choose icon based here. The next step is to choose an abstract shape or do you wanna search for an icon? So I'm gonna go ahead and search for an icon. You can see here that consultant is already preloaded and I'm gonna press search. We've got a bunch of icons here. So we got black and white and color. So I'm gonna pick something in color cause it'll give my logo that extra bit of pop. Okay, I like this here, guy behind the desk, that's kind of me. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click next. Now, once I pick my icon, the next thing I gotta do is pick my font. So fonts are very important in logo design. They help represent the type of business you are. For example, a script font was more elegant than a bold font. So I'm gonna tell the AI algorithm which kind of fonts I want in my logo. So I like the script font here, so I'm gonna click that. Um, I also like this script font here, so I'll also click that. Neither of these appeal to me, so I'm gonna say that I dislike both. And again, I like this script type of font here, so I'm gonna click that. Not into either of these, so again, I'm gonna dislike both of them. So once I've chosen my font preferences, the AI algorithm in the background is gonna to go to work designing my logo. Boom, and here we've got some great logos to choose from. Now, the algorithm is gonna give you its preferred logos at the top, but you can scroll down and you can see there's some fantastic designs here. Um, but I've already seen my preferred logo and that's back up here at the top. So this one is my favorite, I love it. I think it really speaks to what my brand and business is. Now I've got two options here. I can love it and use it as it is, or I can press customize and make some final tweaks to make it just like I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and press customize. You've got a couple of options here. You can change the type of font, you can change the colors, you can change the layout, you can change the icons. Um, but for me, I'm happy with the font, so I'm just going to change the color. Now, color is important as our fonts because it really helps your logo get that look and feel that you're going for. It expresses the mood of your brand. So I like this here, but let's see what other options we have. So I'm going to click on a color palette. I like that too. That's very nice. Um, and I'm going to click on another one and see what it gives me. Not too into that yellow. Let's just try one more. Perfect. Okay, so now that I've chosen my color, I'm going to go ahead with this. And I'm just going to click finish. And that's it. We hope you all enjoyed learning how to make a logo. If you're ready to make a logo for your business, click the link below and head on over to Taylor Brands.